Hi friends, welcome to DataViz. Through this video, we will discuss about the 10 most used formula in Excel. So, let us start with the most used formula VLOOKUP. I have already an elaborative video on VLOOKUP that is already available on our YouTube channel DataViz. So let us, we will make you understand that what a VLOOKUP is. VLOOKUP is basically a formula uh, which uh, is helpful in uh, looking a value vertically from a table. So this is my table. You can see when there are different columns, name like name, uh, month name, January, February, March. And there are rows with uh, uh, multiple values. So here in I will use my VLOOKUP formula and try to find value of Bob for the month of February. So let us see VLOOKUP. So what is the syntax for VLOOKUP? The syntax for VLOOKUP will be VLOOKUP, the parenthesis, lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. So here the lookup value which we are trying to find is Bob. Then after lookup array or table array. So here the table array is from B5 to E10. And as I told you that we are trying to find the value for the month of February for Bob. So here we can see that the name is the first column the January month is the second column and the February month is the third column. So here the column index would be 3 and then after we are trying to find the exact match. So we will put a value of 0 or false and the parenthesis is closed. So here we see that the value is 90 for Bob for the month of February. And here it is also so it is correct. So now the second one is HLOOKUP. So let us see how HLOOKUP was. Basically, HLOOKUP we are using HLOOKUP by which we need to try to find horizontal values in vertical. In VLOOKUP, we were trying to find vertical value in edge lookup we are trying to find horizontal values so here we see that we have a table it is the same just like uh, we look up but just we have changed the value vertically to horizontally so here we can see that month there's the name mark sam and helen and their data for the month of jane to may so here we are we will try to find the value for mark for the month of March and now we will see the syntax for HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP, lookup value, table array, row index number and range lookup. In VLOOKUP, we had to give a value for row index number, value uh, column index number and here it is row index number. So now what is the lookup value? It is the mark. And the table array is from B4 to E9. What is the row index number? We are trying to find the value for the month of March. Here the March. The row number is 4. There is a uh, row index number. And again, for exact match, we will use 0 or false. So here we see that the mark and the value for mark for the month of March is 30. It is the same as 30. Now the third is concatenate. It is very frequently used in uh, Excel. Basically the function of concatenate is to bind two texts. Here we can see that Allen and Jones, Bob, Williams, Carol, Device, so let us see the syntax for concatenate. 
here we see that concatenate text one text two text three whatever text we wanted to concatenate we can do it so here we have two different values concatenate one the first name and the last name and we will close the bracket that it is Adam Jones now we will try to put a comma in between the first name and last name so we will use concatenate the first name then we will use the comma then second value is the second last name now if again we will try to with a space then we can do first name So here we see that basically concatenate is being used to add two texts. So here we have used Allen and Johns, Bob and Williams. If we wanted to put a extra character, we can do it by using the same like we did it right now. In concatenate, please remember that we can use maximum 30 number of arguments no more than 30 number of arguments now the fourth one is max max is basically a formula by which we are trying to find the maximum values from a series from a list from an array so always do remember that max formula will ignore logical text values logical and text values now here we will see the syntax it is max number one number two number three and so on whatever we wanted to we can put it there so here we take it from c5 to i5 so we can see the maximum value in the series was 800 yes now the fifth one the number fifth is minimum minimum is basically a formula by which we are trying to find the minimum value from a series or from a list so we will use formula min with the parenthesis and the number one number two whatever text we uh, whatever number we wanted to we can use it in a list so here we have taken it from c5 to i5 the minimum value here is 120 we see it is yes it is 120 it is also uh, do remember that it will ignore logical and text values while whenever we will use minimum now the number six the number six is sum sum is a formula uh, which we are normally using to sum a list sum a number of sum a particular number some different type of numbers and for the syntax is very simple it is sum on the parenthesis and the list here we are again using c5 to i5 and here is the 36 50 again this is the 36 and 50 so now number seven number seven is average average we are using average formula for finding out the average value from a series from a list so here we see from c5 to i5 
average formula. When you use this average formula, it is 521. And manually, if we will check, then we again it is 540, 521 it is the same. Now, the number 8. The number 8 is count if. On count, we have already a video, a very elaborative video which explains all function of count. Now, what count if do? Count if is basically being used to find out the number of occurrences of a number in a particular series or list. For count if, uh, we are using syntax count if, then range and then criteria. So here uh, my question says how many tires are being bought? So how many tires? So we have there is a list. It is item, date, cost and for this entry for particular items like break uh, we bought on 1 January 98 uh, it has cost 80 rupees so as well as all the values so here the range is from C5 to C13 and then after it is the value tire So, if we will try to find then how many tires are there? 2, 3. So, my value is correct. Now, it says how many, the second question is how many items cost more than 100? So, there is a cost value and the range is this. We will try to find that how many times. The item has been born which uh, whose price is more than 100 rupees. So manually if we will do it, we find it, I hope, it is 4 times. Always remember that 100 is, we are trying to find more than 100, is not equal to or greater than 100. So now the syntax will use count if the range so it is our range then comma then 100 so it is greater than 100 so it has four different values as i have as i already did it manually now it is number 9 number 9 is sum if we use we use the same table as we use in count if now basically what sum if do sum if is uh, adding particular value based on some criteria like here we say that there is a there are different uh, items that has been bought with a different uh, prices now if I will just uh, trying to find out the values of tires that how much I have spent it so I will use here sum if so first try to understand about the syntax of sum if sum if is sum if says that the range and the criteria then after sum range so let us uh, go to the range what is our range it is this one is the our range then what is the value criteria is tires and the sum value is so it is 325 to the cost of tires now it says total number of item costing more than 100 rupees all right so we will again use the same formula sum if the range value
the range the values should be greater than 100 and some range so it is 900 and we will do it manually we also will find the same value We can see it here 900 and the last one is if if is a logical formula and it is very frequently used in Excel whenever we are doing any work in Excel so basically the structure is it says that uh, if logical test then value if it is true otherwise value if it is false so here we have a table uh, it says that your target and sales if I consider that my sales is greater than target this is my logical test if it is correct then we will tell it achieved otherwise if it is fail if it is fall fail then I will consider it as a not achieved so here the target was 5000 and in actual the achievement was just 100 so it is not achieved again the second value and the achievement was 6000 and the actual value was the actual target was 5000 so it is achieved the third one is the actual achievement was 2000 and the target was 4000 so it is not achieved so these were the 10 most frequently used uh, uh, functions in excel i hope you have I hope it has been benefit for you and would request you to kindly subscribe our YouTube channel along with the uh, you also can read these things on our blog that is database.blog spot.in and would request to share it as much as possible because uh, sharing is very very much beneficial to others spreading of knowledge is a very good thing thank you for watching my video